Hello friends, my name is Rahul Kumar. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the most important civil engineering structure that is truss. A truss can be defined as a structure made up of a slender members which are connected at their ends by the pin joint. A truss broadly classified into two categories, perfect truss and imperfect truss. Imperfect truss again it is classified into subcategories that is deficient truss and redundant truss. A, tr a perfect truss satisfy mathematical condition m is equal to 2j minus 3. So let us discuss what do you mean by a perfect truss. A concept of perfect truss can be explained with the given example as shown in figure. So here in this diagram we can observe the total number of joint in the truss is 4 namely joint A, B, C, D. So here we can refer J is what? J is the number of joints and M is the number of members present in the truss, given truss. Here in the very first example number of joints is equal to 4 whereas the number of members is equal to 5. Let us count A to B is one member B to C second member in this way we have to count so first second third fourth five so total number of members is equal to five so now if we want to call this structure as a perfect truss then it should satisfy the mathematical condition m is equal to 2j minus 3 so let us put the value of j is equal to 4 in this equation so this is 2 that is j that is 4 minus 3 so that is 8 minus 3 it should be equal to 5 and already we have provided 5 number of members so what does it mean already we have provided 5 and the required number of member is 5 as per the given join so this is 5 is equal to 5 so RHS and LHS is equal so that's why we can call this truss as a perfect truss whereas in the second example the total number of joint is again 4 but the total number of member is equal to 4. So as per the joint how many number of member required that we can determine by this condition. So this is 2 that is number of joints again in this second truss is again 4. So if I call this joint as A, this is B, this is C and this is D. So total number of joints are again 4. So here I put j is equal to 4 again so this is 4 minus 3 so this particular RHS it is equal to 5 but the total actual number of members provided are only 4 A to B is one member B to C is second likewise C to D third and A to D is four so the actual number of members provided are 4 what does it mean the member provided is 4 but actually member required is 5 so what, what conclusion we can make the number of members provided are less than the number of members required so this type of truss it is called as a deficient truss where number of members provided are less than the required so here 4 is less than 5 so in this way we can understand what do you mean by deficient truss whereas to understand a redundant truss let us take a third example again number of joints are same A this is B this is C this is D but let us add some additional member so here I add a member that is B to D B to D and again I add one more member that is A to C so now we can observe again the number of joints are 4 a b c d so number of joints are 4 but number of members provided are 6 a to b is one member likewise b to c second c to d third a to d four b to d five a to c six so number of members provided are six means on the left hand side the number of member actually provided are six but based upon the number of joint we can determine we can determine the actual number of members required so here so this is 2j so j is again 4 minus 3 
so here we can say 6 right definitely it is greater than 5 so what conclusion we can make actual number of members provided in the third example is greater than the required so actually based upon the number of joints so number of joints were 4 so based upon the number of joints the actual member required are 5 but we have provided we have provided a 6 number of members so it is greater than the required so this is called a